In this video, we'll be solving the Age of Leica assignment. Go ahead and open up Xcode and press Create a New Xcode Project. We're going to choose iOS Application and Single View Application. We go ahead and press Next. And we're going to make the name of this project Age of Leica. And we can go ahead and I'm going to leave the organization name the same. Hopefully you're used to this, uh, these settings by now. So I'm going to use my class prefix as CC. We're going to make the, sure the device family is iPhone. And I'm going to use my company identifier com.codecoalition.elliot. Feel free to use self.edu.yourname. And I can go ahead and press next. I'm going to create a Git repository in Mac. And later on in a future video, we'll figure out how we can push all of these assignments and projects up to our own personal GitHub repositories. So for now, I'm going to make sure I'm initializing with this create Git repository in Mac. I can go ahead and press create. And since my Xcode is small right now, I've gone ahead and I've added the Leica JPEG, which you can go ahead and download in the handout section. And I'm going to drag this into my project into the supporting files. And I'm going to make sure I have copy items into destination groups folder if needed, create groups for any added folders, as well as add to targets, age of like, and I can press finish. And now I'm going to make my Xcode fit my entire screen. And I'm going to go to my storyboard file because I'm going to start updating my view. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a text field to my project so that I can enter in my dog's age in human years. And I'm going to go ahead and add a label in. And another label. And I can also go ahead and add in a button. And we're going to add an image view to our project. Now let's go ahead and update the image of our image view. So I can use the drop down from the attributes inspector. I can press Leica.jpg. If for some reason you don't see that, go ahead and press Command Shift K. And this is what's called cleaning it. It relinks or recompiles and gets your project ready to go. Um, and it searches through all your files. So if for some reason it's not appearing, that might be the reason. So you can go ahead and click your image view again and drop down on your image and press Leica.jpg. Now this looks a little off to me, so I'm gonna to go to mode, and let's do aspect fill instead, and that looks like it's sized a little bit nicer as well. I'm also going ahead and rename the text of my button so I can double click in, or I can access my attributes inspector and go down to the title and remove the word button, and we can press, we type in convert to dog ears. And we see that my button's too small now, so I go ahead and enlarge my button. And I can center it again. I'm also going to go ahead and enter some placeholder text inside of my text field. So I can do enter human years here. And I can also go ahead and change the keyboard. Because again, we only want to enter numbers in from this keyboard. We don't want to allow the user to enter text in. So I'm going to go ahead and select number pad. And I'm going to change my label to dog ears. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the text in my other label so it'll update properly. Now let's go ahead and open up ccviewcontroller.h. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key and press on it, which will bring up my assistant editor so I can properly hook up my view objects to my header file. I'm going to first hook up my label. So holding down the Control key, I'm going to drag to my header file. And I'm going to make sure that the outlet it's a connection outlet, and I'm going to give it a name, and we'll call this uh, years label. And we're going to make the type UI label, and the storage type can be strong. Next, I'm going to make sure I have my text field selected, and I go ahead and, and connect this up, holding down the control key again. And we can call this years text field. And finally, I'm going to hook up my button. So I'm going to make sure I have my button selected, and again, holding down the control key, drag to my header file. And we'll make this connection type an action. And we'll call this convert to dog ears button pressed. Really, really long name, I know. Convert to dog ears button pressed. I'm going to use camel case. I'm going to make the type a UI button. 
Again, make sure your connection type is an action or this won't work properly. Make sure you select touch up inside, which is the type of touch event, and we're going to use the argument sender. We can press connect.